Hi, I'm Sarah, and I am here to tell you a little bit about Emerald Ash Borer and how you can help Tacoma keep an eye out for this emerging pest of our beautiful ash trees. I'm standing next to a uh, ash tree right here in Tacoma, and this one happens to be a European ash, or Fraxinus excelsior, uh, but it's also just an example of the size of tree that you might expect a uh, planted ash to be. So this is a medium to large tree. What you would notice if you were looking at the leaves is that they have compound leaves, which means there's the main stem with little leaflets that come off of each of the main stems. And with the ash trees that we have in Tacoma, most of them have about seven to 13 of these leaflets. Um, and those are attached opposite to each other. You'll notice that the branches are directly across from each other. The leaves are attached to the branches directly across from each other. So that's some of the ways you might be able to find out that you do have an ash tree. Um, and why, why do we care about ash trees in Tacoma? One, they're a really important tree in our park settings. Here we are in one park, has quite a number of ash trees, both this Fraxinus excelsior, the European ash, and also the Caucasian uh, ash or narrow-leafed ash. So ash trees are a pretty awesome tree. We don't always take careful notice of them, but we need to start taking special notice of them because they are impacted by something called emerald ash borer. Emerald ash borer is a small insect, about this, it's really quite small, about the size of a penny, uh, and is, as the name suggests, is emerald, like just as shiny as a beautiful emerald ring or something like that. Emerald ash borer could potentially have a big impact on trees in Tacoma. Um, what you can notice is that the trees will start having yellow leaves, and then you start seeing dieback in the canopy, which means that large branches are starting to just lose their leaves. And so you'll see segments of the canopy missing their leaves entirely. Then you begin to notice uh, significant woodpecker damage towards the top of the tree. And that is something you can often see from a distance, actually. So you can look up and you'll see all the bark is missing from a spot. Maybe you can even see holes. And that gives you an indication something's going on with that tree. There's some sort of activity underneath the bark. And the next thing you start noticing is that uh, a, a, D, a D, as in dog, shaped hole in the tree. At this point, if you see that hole, the insects have already been in the tree for quite a while, and most of the damage has unfortunately probably been done. But by identifying that, you help us figure out if it's present on in Tacoma, and also if we need to worry about uh, taking some sort of remediation in the rest of the city. So luckily this tree, and as far as we know, all the ash trees in Tacoma, are not affected by the emerald ash borer yet. So if we can keep our eyes open now, then we can maybe be early detectors should it come to Tacoma. It's important to realize that emerald ash borer is responsible for tens of millions of trees dying in the U.S. alone. So the scale of this, of this insect is quite significant and all of that has happened in the last 20 years. So we wanna keep our eyes open so that we can make sure that we can prevent some of that loss here in uh, Pacific Northwest. And something you can do to help ash trees and all trees in our area is to not move firewood. Moving firewood is one of the causes of insects and pathogens being moved from one place to another. So if you're having a campfire, make sure you, you buy your uh, firewood close to your 